Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're venturing into the secret halls of the Holy See to explore the enigmatic Council of Saints. This isn't your typical council of advisors or high lords at the helm. Here, the Church of seeks guidance from the very essence of martyred saints in these times of severe need. In the well-guarded chambers of the Holy See, under the watchful eyes of the Swiss Guard and a hand-picked contingent of winged communicants lie the greatest treasures of the church militant, the collection of true remains of saints. The bones of Saint Barbara, the ashes of Saint John the Warrior, the severed hand of Saint Teresa of Avila, the reliquary of Saint Andrew the General and many, many others rest here, protected by both the might of arms and the prayers of the faithful. While the Holy See houses an impressive collection of saintly remains, their true purpose goes far beyond mere veneration. These relics are believed to hold faint echoes of the saint's consciousness. In times of dire need, the church employs a risky and complex ritual to attempt communication with these spectral advisors. Few know their true role. The long dead martyrs of the church form the supreme advisory body of the church and the armies of the faithful. In times of dire need, the church's princes, led by the Cardinal of War and temporal rulers of the Freelands, bring their holy remains to the powerful council chambers to seek their guidance. Such consultation is not undertaken lightly. Only truly critical issues are worthy of the council's attention, such as dispatching one of the irreplaceable paladins on a mission to Inferno, opening up a new front in the Great War, or determining the hidden plans of the Lord of the 66. The council undergoes a costly and perilous ordeal, bringing forth reliquaries holding their remains and connecting cables to the synod of strategic prophecies machines to establish communication with the souls of the saints. The synod of strategic prophecy, a secretive order within the church, plays a crucial role. They have developed a unique blend of ancient rituals and arcane technology known as the Chorus of Echoes. The intricate process aims to awaken the dormant essence within the relics, establishing a fragile bridge between the living and the dead. Some speculate that their arcane technology may enable their observers to hear the voice of God, or what they believe to be God. Success in this communication endeavor is far from guaranteed. Sometimes the connection sputters, leaving only an unsettling silence. Establishing a link initiates the true challenge, Modern scholars often find the language of the saints, shaped by centuries of faith and warfare, a mystery. A. Eh? Finally, the synod's tacticians, the purest and most gifted, attach their spinal cables to the prophetic machines so that the saints can talk through them. The tacticians represent the final step in this treacherous act. These chosen individuals are the living bridges, channeling the saints' wisdom, Years of rigorous training prepare them for the immense mental and physical strain of the ritual. Synod machines bind the tactician's nervous system directly to the relic, creating a searing experience that accelerates their aging process. Each heartbeat during this ordeal could be their last. Sometimes the link between the tactician and the relic saint is weak, their voices are a mere whisper. At other times they speak a long forgotten, incomprehensible language. I believe that using the Council of Saints as a guide necessitates extreme caution. Each consultation carries the risk of a lost connection, an indecipherable message, and the life force of a tactician. Yet when humanity's fate hangs in the balance, these whispers from the past become the church's only hope. The Council serves as a stark reminder that victory in the Great War demands sacrifice, not just from the living soldiers, but also from the hallowed dead. As a final personal reflection, I end with a question. How can you be sure that the saint, now revived for a few moments, is not some other unknown entity using it as a vessel to fulfill its own agenda?